Ciao a tutti. It's an honor and a privilege to have with us uh, preparing for the next Grand Prix, which is going to be uh, the Hungaro Ring track in uh, Hungary, in Budapest. I'm trying to talk now to Ricardo Adami, the race engineer of uh, Carlos Sainz. Ricardo, is the connection okay? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me okay, Mark? Excellent, Ricardo. Very well. So, the last Grand Prix before the summer break, so a very important one. But Hungaro Ring is a very unique track. What can you tell us about the track and the weather, for example, because it's usually very hot? Yeah, it's uh, many years I'm going to Hungaro Ring, so it's always a pleasure to go back there. It's uh, quite a unique track, as you say, on the permanent circuits of the calendar, is the lowest uh, speed corner average. So therefore you need an high downforce package there. Efficiency is less important compared to, to other tracks. Also, temperature could play a big role there, and the cooling system needs to work, otherwise you can be in trouble. And uh, could be also challenging for tires if it's hot during the, the summer period. It's not uncommon to find bad weather with a thunderstorm, also this time of the year. This year it shouldn't rain, but as a team we need to prepare also these scenarios with rain. Therefore, also the car preparation needs to take this into account. And of course, um, we've talked about the track regarding Carlos from your privileged position, not only you get to work and get to know Carlos very, very well, better than anyone probably within the team, but also you can see how the couple is working, Carlos together with Charles. It's the youngest driver pairing we've had in Ferrari since 1968. What can you tell us about how they work? Because we can see from the outside that the atmosphere is very, very good. Yeah, I can confirm they are really working well together. There is a lot of synergy between the two of them, good uh, energy coming out from from their relationship. Also, we're spending a lot of time uh, uh, not only at the racetrack, but also in the factory. We have uh, meetings after each uh, race to debrief for the race together. That is very important in my view and very effective. We are also having meetings on the car development, so we can also look forward, taking the feedback on board and uh, progress from there. And we see that Carlos has adapted so well to this season, which is a difficult season, and he's been right on the pace uh, straight away. He has a lot of experience as well, because he's been working for top teams in the past. So can you see that? Can you see that he has this experience? And has he brought something to Scuderia Ferrari? Because you, maybe you think that it's only, he's only learning from us. But have we been able also to learn from him in, in the way he approaches the race weekend, for example? Yeah, as you say, Mark, being only 26, I'm quite impressed. He has a great deal of experience out from the previous teams he has worked with. And uh, he has brought us quite a lot, actually, in terms of uh, working methodology. We had a lot of meetings with all the various group uh, in the factory in uh, these uh, few months of working together as you say straight in the pace uh, very happy with the job we are doing to try to find the best compromise in terms of setup tuning and driving style taking again uh, his previous experience for McLaren for instance or Reno or Toro Rosso he was mentioning and therefore uh, from from there we are working really well together to improve our performance ultimately thank you yes Ricardo we can see that with every weekend with his results. So best of luck for Fungaro Ring. Uh, have a good race there, of course, and then uh, well-deserved uh, summer break after that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mark. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.